So I believe that really, really good food starts with really, really good flavor. And if you're cooking with water, it'll taste like you're cooking with water. If you're cooking with rich stocks and your base ingredients are super flavorful, it makes everything taste better from soups to risottos to sauces. So I, I mean, Claire, like- She's I'll, the queen of chicken stock. I really am. She's the queen obsessed. Of I really am. And I have been for how many years? Like your whole life. A million. So this is, these are the bones to um, a whole chicken that I made just a day or two ago, mm -hmm. including all the- Guys. Every time she makes chicken, she saves the bones. Oh yeah, I mean, my kids, time. even though my, my teenagers clean up the kitchen and they know that, do you remember that one time we had guests come and oh, yeah. we were trying to be helpful and they threw out all the chicken bones? Yeah, and, and you're like, so oh. upset. I didn't say anything. I was like, thank you so much for cleaning the kitchen. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. So, um, it's, it's about, I, I saw Martha Stewart once roast the chicken, put it in here and she put all these whole vegetables and stuff like that. This is not about that. This is about using your chicken scratch. Scratch? Your scraps. vegetable scraps. Scraps. So, um, I put the tops of the leeks, that green part that nobody ever doing? uses. I put them in here. And when I'm peeling carrots, I actually keep a bag of, uh, I keep a bag of vegetables in the fridge and they're basically my, they're my stock vegetables. So I'm gonna show you what else. Um, Those this, carrot and more leeks, right? Carrot peels. When I'm peeling, I made uh, glazed carrots with an orange sauce, orange butter sauce yesterday. These are the green tops. And so for example, some people would throw this onion out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put them in here. Now, some people say to me, oh my gosh, you put the skins in there? Yes, the skins of the um, onion give it that golden color. And you know, all those little, uh, what do you call these? Uh, garlic garlic cloves that are too small. I just basically cut them in half, or not even, throw them in here. Uh, I'll let you show you what I do. This is totally me, absolutely me. I save rosemary and thyme stalks. You could throw them away, but the thing is, it just makes everything so tasty. Yeah, she doesn't throw anything away. I really don't because it's all about the flavor. Listen, when you come to my house and you eat my food, it is bursting with flavor. These are bay leaves. Uh, when we go on vacation and there's an Airbnb that has huge bay leaf bushes, so what do I do, Claire? You pick some of them. <laughs> <laughs> make little bunches when yeah. I take them home. Same with lavender. Uh, yeah, lavender, everything I can. So I'm going to fill this to the top with water and this is my slow cooker and then I'm going to this is my new slow cooker so I still haven't used it I have a smaller one and I have a big one and a mini mini one over there yeah yeah the, which actually I'm making shrimp stock in it right now <laughs> and I said to the kids last night uh, how obscene is it if I'm making two stocks at the same time like, like, oh, la, la, no la, it's la. not that far out of the ordinary <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna go for how many days I don't know. two sometimes three and sometimes I will, as it's cooking, after about a day or so, I will put, uh, it's probably in the dishwasher, I will put a, a colander in here, push it down, and with a ladle, I'll take two or three spoonfuls, like large ladlefuls of chicken stock away, and then I'll add more water, and I'll go for another day, and to make it last longer. To make it last longer, to stretch it out. And it's uh, all the good collagen out of the chicken bones. Well, it's good, great for your hair, great for your nails, great for your skin, and uh, great for your immune system. Like, honestly, it's just so good. I mean, I literally, and I fill. <laughs> Yeah. I fill bottles of empty white See, wine. she doesn't throw anything I away. I this. I mean, obviously, we're going to recycle this. But, once, but for now. <laughs> but once this is done, I will fill several bottles that I've rinsed, put the cork back on, put it in the fridge. I will, with a Sharpie, I'll uh, scratch this out and say chicken stock. And then we're using it for so many wonderful things. It is really liquid gold. So... Um, I'm going to start making this today. Today is Saturday. We'll probably start using it on... The, the beautiful thing about the slow cooker is that it could go overnight. Although I'm really nice to my children because 
at about 10 o'clock at night, I turn it off because sometimes I wake up at four o'clock in the morning because all I can smell is the chicken stuff. Oh, from they, all the way across the apartment from the kitchen. Right, My room is like right, right there. there. <laughs> so I'm really nice to them. I turn it off and then around nine o'clock in the morning, I turn it back on. Don't you think that's like it's a so, sign so of So generous love. of you, Mama. Really generous. It's like, it shows my love. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're making minestrones. We're making uh, sauces for risotto. Chicken. We're making risotto. We're making everything. Everything. It really is the music to our mm -hmm. lives. <laughs> to our lives. Sending you chicken stock love. Mm -hmm. <laughs>